good day friends this is going to be the last of our google docs lessons and it'll help us make sure we are ready for the big test start by getting to a google page finding your google apps and let's go to the google docs launching page for this last project we are going to use the template gallery so click the gallery so all of the little templates will show up if yours shows up at the West Auto Public Schools one, switch to the general template. If we take a gander under the list, for education there are all kinds of reports that you could do or essays. Uh, there are many different kinds of class notes. If we scroll down, you've got lesson plans, we've got letters we could write people, special business letters. What these do is they give you a format to follow and some fake text that you eventually change. I want you to find the one called Class Notes and Playful, and I want you to double click to launch it. When this launches, you'll notice that there's the Docs Home button if you wanted to change your mind, and it already gives us a name. Let's change this from the word class to computers one notes. Let's start by using that insert header technique and in the header box let's put our names. You can keep the color they give you or you can pick a different color. I don't want the size to be larger than the 12 that it comes with. While we're on the insert tab let's also insert the page number and I still like the first one down of the list so now our page will be on every single page we add let's start by fixing the date uh, the date I'm creating this movie is 9 17 2018 if it's a different day for you put in the correct date that you're building it we are not doing social science notes we are doing Google Docs notes and this is where most everybody all of a sudden notices that this is gibberish don't worry about it though we are gonna replace it with words that we really need to know about Google Docs real quickly let me show you these bullets see how these indent from the main bullet to a sub bullet that can be changed by just doing decrease indent if you move it in two, look it's even got a different one. We want all of our bullets to the left. I want you to type in the following bullets. So Google Docs is a free tool that is very similar to Microsoft Word. Google Docs is free with the catch that Google stores a lot of information about you and may put ads in your email. Google Docs saves to the cloud and Google Docs works anywhere you have a device and internet make sure your neighbors have those added as well and then move on to the next part of our google docs notes now make sure you add we found that google docs makes sharing and collaborating really easy we found that we can make neat areas for chatting with a table and we have learned three ways to add pictures copy and paste url and upload make sure that you use the indent to move this over to the next chunk on this next set of bullets, I would like you to add two things that I have not mentioned. Maybe mention the font color, maybe mention highlighting, bold, italics, underline, talk about the font, talk about styles, maybe talk about the paint format tool. But you need to talk about at least two more cool things that you've learned while using Google Docs. When you're done adding the two things you learned, I need you to press enter and then I need you to backspace over the bullet till you're back to the left edge. And then I want a short paragraph where you tell me what you're better at now that you've worked in Google Docs. Make sure that you type in complete sentences and make sure you have at least two things you learned down or that you're better at in this paragraph. And then when you're done with that, I need you to turn in a screenshot of this project for the assignment in Google Classroom. Remember, mine is not perfect, but yours needs to be perfect. Uh, I'm going to hit Nimbus, and I'm going to do my screenshot capture. I want you to make sure that you've got the top 
I'm not going to worry about the page number this time because there's so much other stuff. Save that note to your downloads just like always. And then return to Classroom. Once you're in Classroom, remember that you've got to go to the Classwork tab. And then here is your Google Docs template. This assignment is due tomorrow, but when you finish it, you simply hit View Assignment, Add. And we are going to add from a file. And remember, mine was in my Downloads folder. So I hit Downloads and I look for the project. And there it is. Upload. And once it's there, make sure you click that Turn In button. At that point, you can move on to extensions or whatever else I assigned to you in class. Ladies and gentlemen, if this was useful, please click that like button. And if you haven't hit subscribe, please hit subscribe. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Tech, click the notification bell. Have a great day, friends.